What's up everybody, this is Jeff in Control Robinson and we're here to show off the final Warlord Titan. He's all painted up, he's ready to go. The only thing missing here is banners that I'll be adding on to him soon. But I wanted to show him off, a lot of people have been asked about this. I'm obviously uh, super, super excited about him. I thought he was painted brilliantly well. An amazing model. Um, and I'm just, I could not be more thrilled about it. So I just want to do a quick little video, kind of showing it off. And, uh, well, yeah, just showing it off, basically. You can see kind of the oxidization effect on the barrels here, firing off the main weapon, the Bellicosa arm cannon. Gigantic, very strong weapon. I actually really like and appreciate kind of the different colors to it. You can see the back has kind of the hazard symbol. Uh, because when that gun fires, it's actually like a little bit of the sun exploding outwardly. It's a, in the fluff. It's an extremely powerful gun. Um, so that kind of stuff is cool. And you'll notice if you look closely too, you can see a lot of weathering effect in the paint. That's because in the fluff, Warlord Titans are very rarely like factory new. They don't just walk off the assembly line and then into the battlefield. I mean, certainly at one point they do, and certainly that does happen. But for the most part, they are as much as like 10, 15, 20,000 years old. Uh, literally, you know, regarded as kind of gods of the battlefield. Um, so weathering on it is necessary and really, really cool. And it's done very, very well, if I might say so myself. Um, and as I'm showing this off, just keep in mind, this is painted by the amazing... Um, painting services of Frontline Gaming. You can go to FrontlineGaming.org and inquire about painting services there. I've had all my models painted by them. A lot of people ask, you know, why do you have them painted and not paint them yourself? Well, it's because I am a snub for, or a uh, snob. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. Snob for quality. And this looks incredibly good. Can hear my phone going off in the background. Awesome. Get to that in a second. Not now, I'm making a nerd video. But I really like the finished product of the Warlord Titan as well. You can see the armor plating on him. This is the first time you've seen that as well. Kind of rounds out the chest, which I really appreciate. Otherwise, he looked very skeletal. Um, and then the legs get bulked out a little bit more as well. Very cool. This is from a piece of terrain, actually. Um, the little skull, very Mechanicus-like. And then painted to nice detail. And then this over here is his name, Deus Belly, which... Uh, of everything that he did, I think this is the one that looks a little bit, you know, the freehand's cool. But I think if I were to have it done, my, if, if I had my say, I would have, that would be one of the only things I would have done differently, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But let's just show off the rest of this real quick. Uh, magnetize, this all moves. Whoop, not too far. This can actually come off as well, which I showed in the other video, but we don't need to mess around with it too much. And then let's take a look at the top end of it. Both shoulder pads are very different. You can see back here the checkered white and red. All Mechanicus colors, all Mars colors. And then this shoulder pad slightly different as well. Different colors alternating. Black and red check mark. And then over there, uh, just solid red. Head magnetized does come off. And you can see the guys inside. Painted a really nice detail as well. Here's the two moderati and the princeps that drive this. <clears throat> and a little bit for size comparison too. Brought these guys along. So this would be a normal troop. That is a Skitari. You can kind of see it next to the leg. A little bit smaller. And then kind of the next step up would be that. That's a Castellan. Think of it as like a monstrous creature, a pretty big guy, has monstrous creature stats, tough. And then on the battlefield, pretty much the next biggest thing would be like a knight. And that is a knight crusader. All of these are painted by Frontline. And then take a step back, and that's the Warlord. Just a quick little video showing him off. Uh, again, I had him assembled by a guy kind of local here in the San Francisco area. He's very good. Did an awesome job. Uh, magnetize most of this, the limbs move, the head comes off, the guns up there move in, come off. Uh, and then this was painted by Frontline Gaming Studio, one of their best artists, and I think he did an incredible job. I'm super proud of it. 
I'll be doing games and playing with them, and uh, you'll see them in the background of a lot of things I do, because I just kind of lug them around the house, because I love them so much. So, that's it. That's the Warlord Titan. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys soon.